Hi there ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Dr. C channel. Thank you very much for watching. And what I've got today is an uh, FS Racing 110 scale monster truck. Um, you might have seen it uh, before on my channel. I've done an uh, unboxing and a demonstration on the stock nickel metal hydride and the LiPo, a 2S LiPo. Now this car is rated or uh, the specs say it uh, can be run at 2S, not on 3S, but, but I'll try it anyway. Uh, I've got a 3S uh, Gensase LiPo in it and we'll just see what happens. <laughs> um, yeah, we might end up uh, with a uh, smoking ESC or a motor, who knows, uh, but uh, I just want to know uh, what it does on 3S, so uh, we'll find out today. Um, the rest of the car is completely bone stock. I'll also be running it with the stock supplied radio. Uh, the servo hasn't been changed, nothing's been changed. So, um, yeah, <laughs> we'll see how it fares. Here we go. Oops, <laughs> that's how it fares. <laughs> this is actually the first flip over on the car. Uh, I've had with the car. Uh, but as you can see, at least it does run on 3S. Uh, we've got a bit of a wheel spin. Yeah, it was to be expected that <laughs> it is a bit harder to control. For sure. Um, it's still alive. Uh, it really wants to tip on back, as you could see in uh, in jumps. Uh, these jumps, this uh, this hill over here is a bit steep. I would have liked a shallower hill, but uh, oh well, it does jump. Yep, it doesn't have a self-rightening system. I need a Traxxas car, don't I? <laughs> yeah, definitely um, a uh, better servo would be nice, a, a faster servo. As you can see, it's hard to control on 3S. My main worry was actually if the, the, the electronics would survive, but it's actually the driving that's uh, difficult. Whoa! <laughs> It actually looks as if I have busted something, doesn't it? It's uh, more than difficult to control. It looks like a three. No, all wheels still turn. Okay, then it's really the, the servo and maybe a little bit of a slop in the drive line that's making things difficult.
Ow! Alright, uh, the car is, st is still alive. Surprisingly. Uh, so. I'll do as. The car is pretty okay. I think uh, a bone stock on 3S though. And like I said, it is not rated to go on 3S. So I wouldn't advise customers to also try it. There's a good chance the ESC won't live very long. Well, maybe you can uh, just uh, upgrade the ESC then. If you really want to uh, have it run on 3S, you do need to um, uh, upgrade the, the steering servo uh, for 3S running. On 2S, it's okay. Um, pretty good durability uh, test this, I guess, as well. Um, the center diff could do with uh, thicker oil as well. At least on 3S. On 2S it was okay. On 3S this is a little on the uncontrollable side of uh, things. Huh. I'm still impressed. It's a, it's a nice running car. Apparently reasonably sturdy as well. Yeah, center diff needs uh, thicker oil. Cool stuff, man. Um, yeah, I have no idea how long. Um, the, the, the battery I'm using is a... 3300 uh, Gen 8 3S, uh, 50C. So I have no idea how long I can uh, drive it on this one pack. Uh, I've been driving it for about six minutes now, I think. No lack of speed at all. Ow! I'm being sandblasted. Or gravel blasted. Maybe tires with a little more grip would be nice as well. At least for the front. But the biggest problem is the center diff uh, being too smooth. That really needs thicker oil. Cool stuff, man. Um, this worked out better than expected. Very well, actually. I'm uh, having a good time with this car. It is a Chinese car, but uh, it is well made. Pretty durable, I'd say. And I think uh, FS Racing, at least in the past, made uh, cars for uh, quite a few other manufacturers as well. So they know how to make a pretty good car. Yeah, nice man. I might, uh, I will at least upgrade the steering servo in this car. That's um, kind of mandatory because uh, now I've run it on 3S, I'll probably never run it on anything else. So I'll uh, put a uh, stronger servo in it um, and I might put a nicer uh, with a custom um, paint, paint scheme uh, body on it. Uh, the body is pretty okay, but uh, I like to uh, have it uh, look uh, custom. 
So I'll probably have a look around uh, on the pro line side for a nice body for this car. Uh, pretty typical kind of car, one tin scale, so there's a lot of options in the in the body shell uh, market for a car like this. All right. Yeah, this uh, worked out well, people. I'm happy with that. So, steering uh, servo upgrade and probably a body shell. And then you'll, you'll uh, see it uh, back on my uh, channel. For now, thank you very much for watching. Hope it was somewhat entertaining. And hope to see you back in another video. Bye-bye.